this is Seattle. It's supposed to not do this, but it does. And as if it wasn't cold and icy enough, my sweet wife wants to go to the mountains. So we're heading somewhere way colder even. Here we are about an hour away from Seattle. We came to freeze our asses off. Yeah, it's really cold. Uh, to the point where all of the puddles are freezing even. <laughs> Yeah. This is the first time Susie <laughs> sees a frozen puddle. <laughs> That's awesome! We're basically in Maple Valley, or just a little bit further than Maple Valley. We came out here hoping to find a little hiking trail that wasn't covered in snow and without tons of people. So I think we succeeded. So neither of us have been here before. How did you find this trail? I was looking for a region in the lowlands and not in the coast. Mm -hmm. because I don't want the wind from the coast and I don't want the snow from the mountain so I picked something in between and then I typed hiking trail when I was zeroing on the right region and I found it so here we come up upon a sign that says centering state parks property and there's a fork and it doesn't tell you at all which way to go I am thinking of taking the footpath and not following the car path, but we'll see. Should be all right. It's a pretty pleasant forest so far. It's nice, and some, it's not covered in snow, so yeah. big plus for that. And there's some green from the bushes and the ivies. They do call it the Evergreen State. It is mostly green on the west part of it. Susie's over there torturing herself, trying to vlog with the G90 to prove a point that the GoPro wins hands down every time, case closed. There she is. With my giant, this is like killing my arm. Yeah, look at this. I need like two hands. Who and vlogs like is, this, man? A lot of guys do. <laughs> man, Not this me. is hard for chicks. And it's wide enough where I guess it doesn't look too weird if I do that. Hold it with two arms. Because, so yeah, we're, we're gonna see if the quality is worth it. Uh, this, uh, the stabilization will obviously be better, I think, on the GoPro because it's a much smaller camera. There's less that you have to stabilize. Fresh, vibrant moss from the northwest. Very nice, very fluffy. You could be furnishing your bed with this back in the old days of foraging and hunting. Hear a river rumbling down there, so I think we're on the right track. It should be good. And there's a very nice little clearing here. The clearing? You're in the clearing. I'm in the clearing? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, it looks like a dam or something. We're getting close to the river. We get a clearing to the river here. It's all frosted. For some reason, very still right here, this river. Oh, wow. Frozen soil here, it's like sand. Crumbles when you step. And here are the crystal clear waters. Frosted river banks. It has charm, all the moss is frosted. This is just about an hour away from Seattle and we get this kind of nature. And it's everywhere, it's not just here. Fast, the river is pretty fast right now. Shooting 4K with the GoPro and Linear here for B-roll. It's been making good B-roll. Uh, we're testing this idea that you can pull off a whole trip just with a GoPro now. Sounds like a bird is right by it. Oh, yeah, it's right there. A little one. There's a little bird in the grass here. There it is. Oh, it's tiny. There it is. It's hiding in these grasses. It's inside there. There, it came out the other way. It's really cool. Frosted mossy forest. I'm glad we came today. It almost looks like spring when the sun is out, like here. Wow, such vibrant, nice moss. With ferns coming out of the trunk. Well, we thought we'd be one of the only vloggers out here, but we just ran into someone vlogging with a GoPro. We walked up the rock trail rather than going down towards the river, and we came up on this historic piece of mining equipment. Oh. Can you do that with your DSLR? I was just gonna make that point. <laughs> Gosh. 
So we're simultaneously <laughs> vlogging. So he's got the GoPro. Look at how more nimble he is. <laughs> so obviously with a smaller camera, you can be hopping around places. And with this, at least with this, I really love having the side screen because it shows me when uh, my camera is even shadowing me or just having a shadow on my face. Can Peter McKinnon climb a coal wagon with his DSLR? No. Nope. I bet he would try. Nope, he cannot. <laughs> We came up on something on top of the mountain here. I think it's towards the cemetery of the ghost town. And what is this? It looks like a salmon hatchery. <laughs> Not really, but it's something. We found the mine. It is behind us. All right, so from that past uh, mining cart, we walked up the hill and had a really great view of Mount Rainier over to our left, but we came up on this uh, piece of history that is actually a mine. So there's a grate and you can't really see far down into it but there's a sign here that does say that this is part of the mine. The Franklin mine, this is the mine itself. Wow. Number two shaft, it sunk before 1910. The trail continues. This is on top of a mountain mind you and there's a little trail for a one person sideways you know. The width of it is for one person and it goes apparently to the cemetery. There's a little side trail up here which I don't know where it goes. Alright, this is no joke. A historical mining town or the remnants of because we walked a little bit further in and these are like the tracks where they used to send the carts up. But yeah, this is one of the cool parts about living in Washington State. We have so many state parks and hiking trails, and those trails vary from being like up in the mountains and full of just nature. And other state parks and trails are along these historical areas. So this is the Franklin Mining Town over by Maple Valley. We also did a hiking video up at the Northern State Hospital, which was, ooh, that's a nice little starburst behind me. But yeah, the Northern State Hospital was considered a state park. That was a totally different experience than being over here. So this is one of the great things we love about living and vlogging here in the Northwest. Here you can see one of the coolest things about the Northwest. This is what? Almost December. Very very close to December past Thanksgiving and the ivy near the mountain doesn't show any sign of getting yellow or red or nothing. It's completely green to the point it makes me feel like it will be green year-round. Here we're coming up on more objects of interest. I think this is the actual cemetery here. Here we go, historic Franklin Cemetery. And they indeed have tombstones. A real cemetery in the forest. Look, Martin. Oh no. <laughs> Martin Johnson. Johnson. 1872. 1872. Wow. Here's another grave. 1906, age 30 as well. Apparently back then, at age 30, there was a lot more they can kill you. We would have been old people by now, even just a hundred years ago. This is impossible to read. They're working on it. Hundred years old graveyard. Yeah, for three people so far, age 30. Mind you, antibiotics were not invented until the 20th century uh, in yeah. their current powerful form. So what is interesting is that this is a remnant of the actual Wild West. Seriously? Yeah, this is, um, there's a lot of Wild West heritage in Washington, especially mining towns like this that were abandoned. If you go like north by the Canadian border, I was doing some research, there's a bunch of ghost towns. I think that they're mining towns, well they're gold towns actually, yeah, see, they were so they looking for gold. Um, a lot of them are considered state parks. The story goes that um, gold was found, I believe, first in California and the mountains there. And there was a big rush towards California, the classic gold rush from the Wild West era. And then people started coming north looking and in the northwest they found some gold and there was a rush towards here but it very quickly ran out. So the towns were quickly abandoned and from there on they started moving towards Alaska which was a much bigger gold rush. And Seattle was the last American town to stock up on supplies for the Alaskan gold rush. So this is really the, the beginning of the settling of the west coast. What are you doing? my jacket. I don't know where to put my camera. Yeah, see, this is stupid. Pretty cool setting, actually. It looks great. It's amazing. What a beautiful forest. It's like taking from the spring. You know, when you 
when you drink stale nasty water that's like 85 degrees or something you feel gross but when you go and get the mountain spring water and this is the same feeling but about air it's like you get the real air and you get it to circulate because you're active so you're replenishing the inside of your whole system true story so one of the things we really like about living here in the Northwest is access to all these trails. There are hundreds or maybe even thousands of trails throughout our entire state. And that's not including uh, Vancouver, BC and all of Canada that are close by and also Oregon. So we just have a wealth of outdoor trails to go to. And our goal for this channel is to, both of our channels really, the travel and the gear channel is to do more videos outside to take advantage of our location because we've just got a really unique setting and we've got tons of camera gear to test out in it.